Greetings, beings of goodness and greatness, and welcome back to Omnify. And, uh... <laughs> Uh, I'll tell you what, the good thing about a multiplayer server is that even though I'm not physically playing on it all the time, other people are. So we can see things being built like that. Um, that, that thing. Yeah, so I guess we have to get back up to date with uh, what everyone's been doing on the server. It looks like quite a few things have been built around the place, uh, including stuff that's not included on this map. So I guess we'll have a look around spawn at all the things that productive members of the server have built, and then we'll go continue on with projects of our own. Yeah. <laughs> First off, was this... Insert dramatic music. Da -da 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 -da. I'm pretty sure I cleaned this all out, just trying to remember. I know that I've got a secret area here still. I don't think anyone has figured this out yet. Uh, I'm no longer using it, so it doesn't really matter. Maybe I am. Oh well, I guess people can get that for free if they find this. There you go. Um, yeah, so basically it's a little hidden room with a <laughs> thing. Ah, But uh, I was using that for a while to store all of my rare items. That was before we got the bank. Uh, into order. But yeah, okay, so clearly no one has uh, gone in there. Any updates on this board here? Uh, Howard versus Rudd, blah, 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 bank. If you steal people, you're a bad Batman. <laughs> okay. Hello, I'm Bezza, blah, blah, blah. Oh, actually, Fester has done a, um, he's built his shop now, so we'll go have a look at that, definitely. Do is... Uh-huh, if you say so. That's an interesting career choice nonetheless. I'm Luke. Festology Labs, yes. Hello, I'm Festa Festology Labs. Okay, so we've got a few things to check out. Uh, of course, Jeremy's uh, new career, that would be interesting to check out. But uh, mainly, we want to check out the store over here. <laughs> but we're not looking at that yet. No, nah. we're looking at that later. That's for later on, okay? We're going into Festology Labs now. You got that? So don't look behind me. That orange building does not exist. Okay. Welcome to Festology Labs. This shop is trust-based. <laughs> uh, no fancy redstone stuff. Stock, inv stock inventory will be taken regularly. No stealing! Pay for any goods through the chest at the exit. No fancy redstone stuff. If you say so, no fancy redstone stuff. Rightio, what have we got in here? Glowstone blocks, blaze rods. Oh, huh, okay. Payment chest. Unbreaking book two. Oh, he's buying here. Uh, stone blocks, one roast potato. I'm rocking it with roast potatoes. I could, uh, totally do that. Fire potion, water breathing potion, splash potion. Aw, oh, man! This is like direct competition to my potion shop! <laughs> I'm, jo I'm joking, I'm joking. One piece of chain mail. Oh, is this more purchase things? Rarish items. Records. I see. Oh, and acacia savings. Okay, so they're things that are yet to be brought into the shop. And this is another little stoly thing. And what have we got here? Um, please return potion bottles. Uh, got ideas for stock? Write to me. Oh, actually, actually, actually. Of good stuff, please. Silk, silk, touch. <laughs> um. <coughs> okay, let's, let's read here. Oh, this is like a company with its own special, um, like, mission thing. Way to English, Ben. Way to English. Okay. Festology Labs, a store dedicated to bringing a wide range of products with many uses to the greater public. We strive to allow a broader understanding of how we go about our lives and create a glorious atmosphere for the community of Omnify. We sell a range of products ranging from potions and miscellaneous items to hard to find items in the world we live in. Every day we risk our lives in the pursuit of one thing, survival. We want to make that easier. 
As you are reading this, our lab technicians are constantly creating and collecting stock for you to buy from us at forever reasonable prices. We encourage comments, praise, and appropriate criticism to make your experience with us more enjoyable. We thank you for taking the time to read our prime goal of providing a universal service for all of the community. From all of us at Festology Labs, we thank you. 25th of April, 2014. Huh. Well, that was a very exciting and uh, well-read mission statement. Uh, <laughs> okay, so interesting, interesting, interesting. Well, I, I'm not in the uh, interest of some stone blocks at the moment. Slime ball. Okay, I guess uh, we'll check back here later. Yeah, so hopefully they have some uh, silk trash books later on, uh, based on my lovely suggestion that I wrote. A small gift! A thank you book. A water breathing potion. And a potion of fire resistance. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get back into our mission statement voice. Dear Mr. Intelli- In Intellic. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> We are delighted to announce that we are open for business. Our store is located directly adjacent to the iron farm just around the corner from your current place of residence. Here at Festology Labs, it is our goal to create a grand atmosphere of prosperity and joy that can one day allow for all to live as a better community than they do today. Our store is the beginning of that step, and our plans stretch far from now. We are sending you this letter in not just a thanks, but as a quest for your support. We cannot work to our full strength on just our own supplies, and donations of diamonds, gold, slime balls, and multiple other substances are appreciated. Thank you once again for allowing us the honor of taking residence in your community. Great leader. With thanks, the Festologist, CEO of Festology Inc. Oh, that's a pretty good gift. Intellic, yeah, I hope that Intellic... Uh, really loves his gift. I don't remember if I've mentioned that the torch is burnt down, but it it's burnt down. Rightio, so here we have our two buildings for our villagers, and unfortunately one of them has died. I did try to roll back and figure out when he died, but it was, uh, whatever killed him, it doesn't get covered by my server backup system. So our villager scientist is gone, but this guy is still here. Mr. Frank. Okay, what about the cactus farm? Oh, look at that. Our cactus farm is growing a decent stock. <sighs> Judging by the lights, I'm still in stock of potions. I've had a few returns. The most important question, though, is what on earth is this thing here? Um, where's this lead? Dun, da, dun, dun. Oh, skeletons! I didn't bring arrows. Well, this is interesting. Big structure thing in the sky. Okay, uh, we, we have another building here. It's like a recreation of a enchantment table. And it's made out of mother flipping ob obsidian. Like seriously? I really hope he used efficiency while mining all this obsidian. Because that would have sucked. <laughs> like a lot. Okay, whoa. Look at this. Look at this. As you can tell, we are far from spawn. Uh, I took a trip through the nether, uh, through the nether network. Nether network! Now! And, uh, holy shoot. <laughs> well, it's obvious who the productive members of the server are. Float up the top, float up the top. Blazing oath. Look at this. <laughs> okay, whoa. Okay, so it's clear that um, my chest that I made back at spawn is obviously better and bigger, used way more resources. Yeah. It looks like they might be making uh, all of this like village space. I've been looking around the castle and inside and stuff. I would show it, but I don't want the episode to go on for too long. If you request it in the comments, I might come back. You never know. This is pretty cool. And it's even got like one of those rooms from Ocarina of Time. Uh, where you go in and there's, it's like, da, 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 da. it's a bit smaller, but you get the idea. And there'll be pots everywhere, and I can just smash them and get emeralds or something. Hang on, how far does this actually extend to? Oh, are they, bu are they building that, or is that naturally spawned? That thing there. Whoa, I don't want to fall. Looks naturally spawned. Hmm. Okay. 
Yeah, so as you can see, you can go right around Castle Parkour. So the castle's down there, and then over here we've got this building, of course, which we've looked at before. Uh, and some signs of comments. <laughs> and then this way, it looks like they've built even more stuff. Yeah, what's all this? It's like a... Ugh. Ugh. I wish my sprint would just engage instantly, like straight away. Just do it. So we've got like cottages or something. Dun dun dun. Little farmsteads. This one looks pretty snazzy. And they've even got stuff over here. What's all this? Another another castly thing. Did they start building this one and then they went, nah, we want a bigger castle. But nonetheless, I will stop running around and looking at things. And instead, well, there's actually a big thing here too. Huh. Rightio, so we've had a bit of a look around at things that have changed. Obviously, uh, if it hasn't satisfied your hunger for seeing anything that has suddenly changed or something that sticks out that you think is new and I haven't spoken about, uh, just tell me in the comments and I'll make sure I walk to it in the next video. <sighs> Who keeps putting this glass here? Because this is functional water. Like, I come here to fill up water buckets. But yeah, so now I'm actually going to explain what this big building is all about. And I'm going to do that with some past intelligic magic. Na -na -na. I've got some footage of Waffles and I building this, um, and I didn't actually show it earlier. I didn't think it really fitted into that particular episode, so now I'm doing it. Whoa! Golly, that creeped the crap out of me. Oh. I'm going inside. <laughs> that seriously scared me. Oh man. Minecraft jump scares. My heart. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to hide in a really dark corner of the bank and show you that footage of me and Waffles uh, exploring. <sighs> <laughs> I was waiting how long it would take you to realise about that. <laughs> what I could do... Mm -hmm. I've got a silk touch thing here. So I can actually get grass blocks. What do you reckon? 64 blaze wads for a diamond. Yeah. That's pretty fair. That to me sounds like a pretty good deal. <laughs> so we're doing a trade, people. We're gonna trade... some... What should we call it? He blazed rods for a diamond. Then the deal's going down. We've got orange. Mm. Or we've got hardened clay. I quite like the hardened clay, I don't know. The roof is going to be the part that's tricky, because we want to make that look really cool. Uh, are you guys trolling by any chance? No, we're yes. not. We're serious. We really... We would like some... <laughs> we actually <laughs> want it. <laughs> or can you enable maybe the cheats and I can just fly? <laughs> <laughs> this is survival, Jeremy. No, it's not. It can be creative. Okay, okay I'll be right back. Thank you, Dave. Yes, I found it. See ya. I've got nine saplings. Do you have any bone meal on you, or do I have to go and steal it? Uh, you have to steal it from the thing. I've got some up in the top chest, in the die, die chest. Yeah. What do you think of having a border on this? What do you mean on the inside? No, uh, come, come out the front. I'm not sure. Not too... F I'm not a big fan of that either. I mean, we could make it quite high and have it like with glass logs. It's like when you walk in, it's like a massive pitched roof sort of thing. Okay, this uh, portal that I've built all the way out here better yeah. lead to this desert temple of yours. <laughs> I've already lit mine. Oh, hello. And that's every. Oh, emeralds! Yeah, Yoink. I told you I found emeralds. And then fancy. You just mine this and you go outside and there's a desert. Woo! -hoo! Sand! <laughs> and I closed off all the entrances into the um, desert temple so that no mobs can get in. Did you get this potion as well? Yeah, I got the fire resistance. What about the, the speed? 
No? Oh. Hang on. Ready? Thank you. Damn, that's fucked. Oh yeah. Oh crap, we're gonna need to fix this, aren't we? Yeah. With obsidian. <laughs> <laughs> oh, close to him. Yeah. Damn it, don't have my fortune on me. Have you got fortune on False. you? False. This is too good. Yes, yes. Did yours run out? Not yet. Wonder how far I'll make it before it does. Did it run out? Must have. You it just ran out. So, Are you standing yours. still on your screen? Yep. Oh, thank you. <laughs> There's the wither portal. So what do you need to make these? Sugar. Oh, really? With glowstone. I just see rain. And now I'm falling. <laughs> Mine did the same thing. Ah, uh, I'm stuck. Alright, so that's how far I made it. Okay. Okay, welcome back. How you do? <laughs> um, yes. So, what is what on earth's going on? Suddenly, we're standing in the Nether with a weird thing, and uh, Blazers chilling out a bit over there. <laughs> I wonder if I can hit him. Sniper shot. Nah. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? So, what is going on here? Well, this is a Nether fortress, as you can probably tell, and here is my little Blaze. Blaze Battle Arena. <laughs> so this is where I can battle blazes without dying too much. Part of the reason that there hasn't been an episode of OmniFi in ages, uh, I've been waiting to record with Ash, but then we could never find a time. So I've decided to just screw it. I'm going in. Oh boy. They don't look too happy. I might get another fire resist potion up in here. I like how I try and hit the door. <laughs> anyway, okay. <sighs> we ready for this? Actually, let's lock ourselves in, because then we're screwed. Okay. 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 Gotta be careful! Gotta be careful! Blam, 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 blam! Is it hot in here or is it just me? Yes, but the uh, purpose of this room, obviously it's not a blaze, uh, blaze farm. This is just a basic get blazes and kill them yourself sort of system. And this has been my source of experience uh, for enchanting stuff. What we're going to do, I have a diamond spade here. Hey, I'm trying to talk. Don't interrupt me. Hey. So now we've just got to get 10 more levels, and then we'll try and get a Silk Touch Diamond Spade. It's going to happen. And then what we can do is we can use that when we finally manage to meet up with Ash and uh, get some Podzel. I'm going to cut here, and I'll see you when I'm at 29 experience points. We'll get to 30 together. <laughs> see you in a moment. -da -da -da. Are you ready? Okay, it's time. There we go. Okay, so we've got 30 levels. So now we're on 30. Let's go enchant what should hopefully be a silk touch diamond spade. Dun, 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 dun. Now, what I normally do is I'll click a few times until it looks like there's lots of text. Lots of text, please. Lots of text. There's lots of text. And... <laughs> Damn it! Fantastic! <laughs> Something tells me I'm gonna be here for a little while. Isn't that swell? Anyhow, I will see you all in the next episode. I'm sorry that uh, it took so long. It's not intentional, believe me. <laughs> it is intentional. You'll never see Omnify again. If I can't record with someone, I'll just record anyway. Regardless of whether they're here or not, okay? That's, that's my next future goal thing. Hmm. I will see you all later. See ya. Bye. Get lost. Get lost. Not you. Not the viewers. The uh, the people. The blazers. Because they're mean. Oh, is that a... Is that a... Did I just see a, a wither? Wither guy. Oh, no. It's just normal skeleton. Boring. <clears throat>
What are you still doing here? See you later. Oh, hang on. Look at this. These guys just appeared. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Jeez, it's dangerous out here. Thanks so much, Roger, and I'll see you all next time. <laughs> see you later.